Hi, just doing some uh, EV fast charging again. <laughs> EV, using EV, get it? Um, <laughs> this is a new uh, fast charging uh, network. This is uh, a Caltex, I'm um, at a Caltex uh, servo at the moment. They've got dual bays here. Uh, there's the servo, it's right next to the Bunnings here at uh, Seven Hills. And I am fast charging using the uh, CCS uh, charger. And uh, yeah, of course, if you put your hand on uh, these, you can feel the feel the vibration from the uh, water being pumped through to cool this thing down. Because I'm charging at, uh, at the moment, it might be hard to read the screen here, not sure if you can see it, but uh, 36 kilowatts, it was up to 42, but because of the charging profile of the Hyundai Ionic, um, yeah, it's tapered down. So I'm up to 13.7 kilowatt hours at the moment. And this is actually um, a pay for uh, system. So I've, I'm paying by PayPal at the moment. I've registered with the EV app and uh, I'm just, just trying it out. Of course, I can get free almost anywhere. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to try it out. Anyway, um, yeah, four stations. They've got uh, CCS and uh, Chidemo. So they've got some extra transformer infrastructure down in there to actually power it all so that's interesting that they've had to install that but uh and here's what it actually cost me it's uh 60 cents per kilowatt hour so it's not exactly cheap um it's like it's double more than double what i'd uh, pay at home if i was paying for that and wasn't charging uh from solar panels for example and yes i can get free electricity in many different uh places but if you want something like really quick yes there are the free uh telstra fast charging uh ccs stations i can get the same charge rate for free but there's only like one of those in sydney um so this one is actually uh, fairly close to my house so in this particular case, I actually needed to fill up uh, really quickly to go somewhere um, you know, fairly lengthy, urgently, and I hadn't actually planned beforehand. So yeah, I've had to uh, you know pony it up, and I wanted to uh, try it as well. So 60 cents per kilowatt hour, and you can see a total cost of $11.72 there, and that's for almost uh, 20 kilowatt hours uh, provided there. So that's uh, that's more than half a tank. So uh, really, compared to an internal uh, combustion car, so compared to my old Toyota Corolla, which was a very economical uh, car, small car. This one's a bigger car, of course, and it's, uh, yeah, it's actually cheaper, even at 60 cents per kilowatt hour. Of course, you know, if you were doing this all the time, then, you know, there's no huge advantage to an electric car here. The whole uh, point of an electric car is that, you know, you can charge it from home from excess uh, solar, or you can get it free from work or something like that, you know, so it doesn't, or you can get it at other uh, places uh, for free, and you can, you know, pilfer uh, power from here and there, and it's, so in theory, you uh, like you can actually not pay anything for your electricity if you're you know a bit wise about it and you go out of your way to you know, sort of you know pilfer um, energy here and there but in this particular case yeah it's still cheaper than uh, filling up uh, you know petrol none of that gas rubbish petrol at uh, the same service station or servo as we call it here but uh, yeah it is going to cost me but uh, anyway just thought I'd give it a go and of course it's manufactured by Tritium Tritium just own the market they're an Australian uh, company and it, it all worked well. The app is uh, the app works uh, fantastically, and uh, this is not far from home. So if I ever do need a really quick fast charge, if I'm caught short, I can actually come here. But of course, you know it's uh, let's get in the car. We're 68 percent, 36 kilowatts, and one and 14 minutes to 80 percent. There you go. So yeah, getting there. But of course, get an ice block from the servo. I could go to Bunnings, do whatever. It's of course not as convenient as a proper servo because in three minutes or less, I can be uh, go from zero to full in an internal combustion engine car and uh, yeah, be out again. So there's the Huckster. Wave Huxley. <laughs> and he, he wanted to come along and try it out. So. Yeah, there it is, the EV charging network. There's a few of them. There's uh, Charge Fox as well, uh, which is another network. And then there's the NRMA fast chargers I've showed you before. And, uh, oh, I just noticed light up there's blue when it's being used and green over there. Why isn't it like red? Blue, I guess. I don't know. Blue LEDs were all the rage in the uh, 90s, weren't they? <laughs> anyway, yeah, very cool. So this is my, I think this is my first uh, pay for 
charge. So usually, you know, all the NRMA charges are free and most other, like I can go to the local pub just down the road and I can get a free seven kilowatt uh, charging, but this one will do, I, I think this one does up to like 250 kilowatts or something, hence why they need all the big uh, infrastructure. And I think I can, it can do them on like both charging stations at the same time. So hence why they probably had to install dedicated uh, transformers for it. So yeah, anyway, that's pretty cool. That's the EV charging network. Works well. Catch you next time.